Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Inside Service. It's Rich Malky. I think if you're watching, you already know. And today, Inside Service. So there's, man, we talk about so many different things inside our office, inside our building, inside our circles. And I'm sure if you're in the service industry, no matter what trade you're in really, whether it's, where you could be on the electrical side, the plumbing side, uh, construction, you know, us here in food equipment world, food equipment service, refrigeration, dishwashing, cooking, we're, we're living in, in, this, in the skilled trades. You're all living in the skilled trades in those areas, right? Uh, people that are not living in this world, I think there is so many misperceptions and so many uh, things that are just not understood as to how this is an amazing industry, an amazing career to be a part of. We talk about that here. So we're having our building updated actually, um, redoing everything, new floors, new, just new everything. It's time for the update, right? But what, I'm bringing this up because MV Hammer, shout out to those guys here in Bayonne, New Jersey. Uh, they do a great job. I was talking with the owner, Mike. We we're talking about the trades the other day. And I think, you know, we even he sees it. You know, you're, you have these kids in high school and, you know, you're, you're basically, you're, you're, you're shoving college, 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 college down these kids' throats. And I get it. It's what's been going on for generations and generations. And for me, it, was, it happened to me. I was in Hudson Catholic back in the in the late 90s, and my guidance counselor brought me in. We're, we're college, 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 and for anyone who doesn't know, I started at Monmouth University. I transferred to St. John's. I was over at College of Staten Island. Listen, it just, it never panned out for me. I was not a school guy studying subjects that mattered nothing to me. So, you know, I ended up just coming here full-time with my dad. And, and you know, my, I think part of my dad was a little disappointed in that because he wanted me to finish college, but it was very hard for me to, you know, put so much effort into this and then have school to go to, which I hated. So, you know, talking about that, you know, for, for the young guy or girl sitting there watching this or the, or the, maybe the person that's looking for a career change and they're 40, I mean, I don't know, you know, it doesn't matter. The trades are here for the person that wants to work, the person that wants to learn, the person that wants to help people. And, you know, the number one thing, I've talked at a lot of different um, technical schools over the past couple of years and I, there's some content up on the, on the channel if you check it out, but the number one thing these young guys and gals all want to know is how much does how much do you pay? How much do you pay? How much do you pay? It's all anybody ever wants to know, right? And I get that money is, you know, the uh, the, the ultimate uh, common denominator. We all put our feet on the floor in the morning to make that buck. But you know, I let them know it really depends on you. You know, if you put in a bare minimum at anything, you can expect bare minimum in return. And that's my answer. You know, there's guys in this industry that are making fifty thousand dollars a year and are happy. And then you have guys that are really killing it. They're in every day. They they, they want they want it. Those are the gold collar techs I talk about. They want it so bad. They're making well over $100,000 a year. You know, three to four weeks off, um, you know, health benefits. We're getting ready to do some really cool things here for our employees, but health benefits are part of the package. You know, 401k with employer match for here, it's up to 4%. Anything, you know, you put in up to four, we match it. You know, you're, you're, you're getting trainings that you would never be able to get anywhere else. There's no school for this. You can go to, you know, technical schools and all that good stuff. and. Those are great. I, I think you should invest in, your, in yourself to, to get some of that common knowledge, but there's nothing like joining a company with heart, soul, integrity, and hard work in your blood and getting out there with these guys and learning the ins and outs of what it takes. And a lot of this stuff is not your, you know, old school turning a wrench thing. I mean, come on, this is like, we're, we're in a world of technology now. These, these, there's combi ovens out here being sold for 40 grand. There's a lot of technology behind it. And there's, and there's, it's, it's just more than you might think it is. So if you are thinking about anything like that, I mean, these are the things we're talking about in the doors of service companies. You know, we want to know how to attract the younger generation and, and make it look kind of sexy, as we, I've said on Gary V. But that's the case. We need to do that. We need to talk about it more. We're doing stuff like that in the Fed Group. You can go over to thefedgroup.com. It's being rebuilt now, but that'll lead you into the Facebook group and you can join the community there. We're talking about this stuff all the time. That's one of the reasons the Fed Group exists is to put the skilled trades on the map. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it one at a time. And you know, it's just so crucial, I think, in this day and age with COVID and all these different things happening, figuring out where you know, your next move might be. Think about the trades throughout this entire pandemic. We're all, we've all been working. Now listen, we've had to downgrade maybe, we had to furlough people, but thankfully for us here in Jersey, we were able to bring everybody back. So 
you know, think about these things. You know, we, we are continually working. Mike, Mike Rowe said, these are the men and women that do the jobs to make civilized lives possible. I love that. I love that. I use it all the time. And it's the truth. I mean, we, we are in the, we're in the trenches. And that show, shout out to all the men and women doing technical work from the food equipment service side to the, to the plumbers, to the electricians, to everyone. You know, <sighs> hats off to you. Thank you for doing what you do. Um, I'm going to take this one down. You know, these are just thoughts, th thoughts and, and, and conversations that are happening inside service company walls, guaranteed. Um, love to hear your thoughts and ideas and comments below. Um, join the Fed group. Let's make this industry a little bit louder. We can do it together. I appreciate you joining me on Inside Service Episode 8. I will see you on the next video. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, share. Stay well.